Hey guys, Shadow here with... With Addy the Great One. And uh, some of you guys wanted us to commentate our videos to tell you why we did some moves, so that's what we're going to do this time. Oh yeah, so uh, in this game... Wait, do I go? I don't know, it doesn't matter. So, <laughs> um, so I'm playing my uh, Nor deck. And I'm using my okay, Chrom deck. And uh, so I saw my hand first, which is totally cheating, because you were supposed to rush out first, that we don't know what you have. But it doesn't matter, because I ended up putting it back. Uh, looks like I'll put my hand back too. Yeah, so usually in your starting hand you want to open up with your main character so that way you can class change whenever you can. Because sometimes you don't end up opening them with them later on, you, like even like three turns later. Yeah, <laughs> once you don't get your uh, main main card and at your first hand, usually you want to reshuffle back. All usually right. when you don't class change the card on the third turn, you're really, really behind on orbs. And then you're probably gonna lose. Yeah. So I don't know why he does that, but he ends up putting his things like a stupid star. <laughs> Are you trying to make look like the? No, 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 it covers it covers least uh, room. How does it cover less room? It covers less room. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's like you have, all that, you have all that room on the side you don't even use. Yeah, what are you gonna do with the? Uh, whatever. Yeah, I guess you don't really use your field that much, anyways. I mean, like anyone, but I looks orderly. Anyways, so I put down a uh, Lisa for my first turn because I like just putting card uh, putting ca putting a card down for the first turn and then not playing a um, card because since you can't attack anyways, there's no point of playing the card because it'll probably just die and you lose card advantage. Yeah, for my first turn I put out Belka. Belka, I was I was I don't know if I should put her down. She's a thirty support, which if you put it on your bond zone, you usually don't get to mill it later for the effect. Yeah. So, my thought process was, I want to get rid of all his cards that is in his main character as soon as possible, because in that deck, um, there's a lot of Dark Mages, so every time he attacks, there's going to be the potential that he's going to mill a Dark Mage and make me discard a card. So that's why I use Robin to kill the Dark Mage. Yeah. So, so, it's his turn. It's my turn, yeah. yeah. What's he gonna do? <laughs> I actually think for a really long time. Yeah, it's so terrible. Actually do something. Sorry, you guys gotta sit through his thinking. And look at him, he's putting that card backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Ophelia again. You can yeah. see that that card's gonna stay there this whole game. It's so annoying. I was trying to kill it so many times. Now, the problem with my Chrome deck is that it does kind of lack range. Oh. Yeah, the only range you have on the Chrome deck is Robin and... Nelly? Robin? No, he, no, he has range. Oh, no, no, he has range. Yeah. So for this part, he tried to kill Robin, and then I realized that I had less uh, orbs than he did. So Robin actually gained a plus 10 bonus, meaning it wasn't strong enough for that. But it didn't matter because it ended up dying. And this is what I mean. So he ended up milling Ophelia, so he milled the Dark Mage, making me, ha making me discard a card from my hand. Which sucks. It's a big problem in Chrome deck, because you're trying to like plan the head. Uh, usually, so you can clash change the next turn. But if you keep on discard a card, it's kind of difficult. So I put so down Lisa. Yeah. Well, I didn't have a level one Lisa, and then look what I drew into. I was like, ugh, fine, whatever. Um, but yeah, I usually put at Lisa's in the orb, or in the bonds. Sorry, put it in the bonds because I don't want to like send them to the discard pile and then end up milling them later because she's only a ten support. She's yeah. pretty good in your hand. I mean, if you can get another Lisa out. Do you have two Lisas or Bonzo? Yeah, I do. Oh. <laughs> do you only need one, two? What? No, I'm like four. Use four? Yeah, oh. of course. Well, you have to use four in like, this Chrom deck because you want a class change. So, like, with a Chrom deck, ideally you want a class change almost every turn after you get Chrom out to get that bonus. So, you gotta plan really ahead. So, you look in your hand, even on like, turn one, and be like, okay, so what do I have? Here that I want to class change, and what are the things I don't really want to class change until later on? Yeah, so this is my third turn. I don't have my like, class change, so I'm, sh I'm trying to attack. Maybe real dark mage. Yeah, I think he mailed Leo, right? Yeah. So yeah. See, see he, even though he knew that attack wasn't going through, he would use attack to get that Leo effect to go off. Look, I drew another main character. Ha ha ha. You didn't get one. Yeah. I think I got my like, fourth turn. Yeah, I didn't get an extra, but that was kind of late. 
So here's my thought process. So you gotta think ahead with this deck. So I had a Cordelia in my hand, right? So I played Lisa to get Cordelia back for next turn. And of course, since I have less cards in my hand, Robin wasn't gonna be strong enough to kill his Dark Mages. So yeah, Lisa's effect. Now Cordelia is pretty good in this deck because he can she can attack twice with the uh, Crom's effect or not with Crom's effect she can attack twice with her own effect but Crom makes her strong and she can potentially kill destroy four orbs so oh and Lucky finally got his class change. So I was thinking, like, great, he actually got his class change, but that's a good thing, because that means he doesn't have another class change in his hand. Like, there's like, yeah, because if he drew it that turn, there's no way for him to get another class change, right, in his hand? So which means my Cordelia's attack is pretty much going to go through, guaranteed. Don't you have the worst luck? You always will. Yeah, like, I was, <laughs> that was the same card. <laughs> it is again. So do you... Yeah, yes, class so change, I get a so. class change, get my try out of it. So usually with the Chrome deck also, you don't want to put too many um, bonds down, because you want to keep it in your hand. Usually you're just going to play one card per turn, and just class change that one card, and the next turn class change another card. So this turn I was going to bring back uh, Robin with Lisa. So you did end up drawing a... Yeah, one from... Turn. Yeah. Block. See, he learned your same card again. But it didn't matter. I had my crown. Yeah, yeah, so at the end of game one.